LaVar Ball was talking about his kids, and he pretty much was saying that, yo, um, all the ladies know who you are. They know you about to be somebody. They know that you in the league. They know you got a certain money. They, they know that. I think I found it. So they're never going to treat you a certain way. They're going to see you as a check. So pretty much they're all hoes. Can we play it? Yeah, play okay. it. Okay, no, no, let Now nah, play that. You're going to meet a nice woman, especially in, in basketball. You're not going to find nobody like I found your mom or, or my mom and dad. Because here's the thing. If you're in this profession which you got all this fame and notoriety, how are you going to meet a good girl? You're not, because what you're going to meet are in the restaurant where you eat, or you're going to go to a club where you dance, or you're going to meet her at the arena. So I hate to tell you, you're going to meet a whole. <laughs> Why the beat so loud? <laughs> Just how I go, son. And then you got to wonder, the first thing they're going to say, oh, I didn't know you did that, man, with the Googling and all this. Oh, yes, they do. They know about you before you even get there. So, son... That's the bad part of the life you're going to get mm. is you're never going to meet a good woman. And by the time you do, let's say you get 30 and then you meet a woman and she's 30. Mm. You got to wonder why she by herself at 30. Wow. So there's something that's dangerous, <laughs> no matter how good they look. But have a good time, son. Mm. <laughs> have a good time, son. Have a good said, time. But, <laughs> have a good time. <laughs> That's some black people shit. Fuck it. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Fuck everybody. <laughs> like, you wow. Know, you gonna do with nothing but holes. That's have it. fun. Do you agree with that? Do y'all agree with that? Um, I think he said it, it a little rough, but I do he, agree. Because what what he's saying is with status and Comes stature. You can't find something who's genuine. I feel Do like you agree with that? I, he's partially right. It's definitely right. more difficult. It's difficult, but I want to say it's impossible. And he said a little rough, but... um, You want to know what's interesting? I now understand why people go and find people outside of the realm of who they date or, or, or who or of their life. You know how, like, we always see celebrities and you like, why is he dating this Russian lady or... Why did he find this woman from Finland? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or something like that. It's because when you meet that person, mm -hmm. that person from Finland or Botswana or whatever, you. they, just they know, know nothing. Yeah. You're they just a regular be... dude who's going on a date with them. You have a little right. money to them. They probably think you do, but they yeah. don't know too much. they just like, oh, you, he does really cool stuff. And that's cool. You know what I'm saying? It's and not I do... until after they realize, oh, shit, this is... That was part of Michael Jackson problem. That because he he pushed himself to the highest height of celebrity. There's no hiding. period. He can't hide who he is. From yeah, anybody. and right. you can't go nowhere. Everybody knows Michael Jackson. That's a fact. You would have to date an alien down there to <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Off know? Earth. Yeah, right. to to not know who he is. So I, I, there's some truth to that, especially if you're even, big. But then on top of that, the next level to it is how can you, when you're of that stature, how can you ever? Maybe it's me, but how can you ever fully trust somebody that is dating you for who you are instead of not what you can do for them or what you carry. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. So that's why I'm like, I understand where the father's coming from in that ex in that regard because it's like, I just signed, his son just got drafted third. Oh, he did get drafted. To mm -hmm. the Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte Hornets. Charlotte Hornets, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to him for that. Um, Bobcats, yo, Bobcats. It's, it's Charlotte, Charlotte Hornets. Bobcats. But it's Charlotte Hornets. They made it back to the oh, Hornets? No, you're, no, you're right. Charlotte Hornets. Hornets. They changed it back. Yes. But I didn't know that either. It's, it's, yeah. My bad. It's, it's just funny that he's now playing for Michael Jordan. Right. That's, to be honest, that's if, funny. That's, that's hilarious. Yeah, right. That's but hilarious. Nonetheless, I, I you, his son gets man. drafted third mm. and his son is about to make a million dollar contract at 18, 19, right? Mm. So then now for his son to then come and say, hey, dad, I met this girl and I think I'm going to marry her. It's like, is that I, bad? I feel like it's, it would be too soon on his part, but, as a, but you got to let it, you got to let it be because what can you really say to that? I mean, uh, it's tough for them, know. too. I don't know. Because bro. LeBron... Okay, okay, so let's think about that real quick. So, and, and you know, we get in with all of this shit, but... Yeah, we don't get about... Yeah. Um, so, LeBron met his wife. Steph Curry school. had his wife in high school. Right. Um, high school's Weehawks. Michael Jordan met his wife early in his career. A name Tanya, right? Right. Ta Tanya. The one he had the kids with, yeah. Tanya. Uh, what fuck's her name? It wasn't Tanya. Something. It was something. It was a black woman. It was a black, <laughs> it was a black woman. Shout out to her. Um... Charlene something. It was really something, something black. Charlene. <laughs> but, uh, told me, uh, 
mm-hmm. you kind of would want somebody who's rocking with you early. Right. But somebody in the limelight, as much as LaMelo Ball, yeah. she still knows who he is. You know, That's I, what I'm saying. It's, it's hard for him to say, yo, I met this girl, and especially, and I don't want to talk bad or bash women at this point, but it's a lot, of, a lot more women now are in the game of just getting, a, they've always been in the game of getting a bag, but it's, it's more prominent now because women are just out here saying, you know what, sis, no. He, if he don't got money, don't fuck with him. So then why, do, no, I'm not, you don't go into the purpose of dating because a man has money. You don't go into the purpose of dating because a girl has money. You go into the purpose of dating because you like this person and you yeah, want Yeah, you enjoy their company. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and because the young man already has money, that's why you're automatically giving him a chance. And it's like, that's crazy. <laughs> Whoa, COVID. Yeah, one, one, one. Nah, he beat it a long time ago. Okay, got gotcha. you. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's a valid point, though. That's you were saying. This is COVID 19. It was 18 more. <laughs> but in that, in that, in that sense, I, I understand what the pops are saying. It's like, I mean, he's not, and that's why I said I wouldn't say he's not, he can't find love. It's just it, like Wade said, it becomes extremely difficult. It does. It is. When you have that kind of cash behind cash, you, it's yeah. like and that kind of notoriety and celebrity. Yeah, it's like what 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 can you really show to you just you how can I trust that you came here off of the strength that you really I think the first the like first time you know I heard it be addressed was when Eminem was like, "Oh no, Marshall, I want to know Marshall. I don't want to know Eminem." You know, it was like, all right. He said it as a joke and <laughs> yeah. but you got what but you I get meant. That. You know what I'm saying? So it's right like, now, could you date Beyoncé and try to fall in love with Beyoncé Knowles as a person? It would be hard. I could fall in love with Beyoncé. I definitely Wade. That's why I love you, brother. But I'm talking about the woman that's not. But, but the, the the part that's heard is H Town. <laughs> no, no, no. But the part I heard is not a singer. Like, <laughs> like, what? like her actually, like her cooking. What? You don't not? know that. You have to get that. But that's what I'm trying to, to say. Would what you if she's a... fire? But I'm t- that's Wait, what I'm saying. You don't know. You don't know. Is what because I'm saying. Will, how will it? She got a lovely career as a stripper. So you say what? She could. She could have a lovely career as a stripper. Great body. Yeah. I and she can dance her. now. I would support her. I would support too. Not support. I'm saying, could you fall in love past? Like if she said, I'm giving you no money, you'll get no notoriety. You get you gotta get to know me for me. How how hard is that? I would take the time to get to know her. You know why her. we can say that? Because we are who we are. <laughs> what? Now. I would gladly. You, know you gotta remember. No. You gotta What wait, the wait, fuck wait, is he they, talking about? No, no, just think about I'm, it. I'm, the question you ask is easy quickly. to answer. You wanna know why? Because Expeditiously. We, we are used to dating women with no money and no notoriety. So it's not hard to I'm fall not, in I'm, love with a woman with notoriety or no money. Not when I say no money, I'm not saying they're broke. But see, that but, changes it to me, because that's crazy. That's a crazy fucking con- like. Think about what he just said, but you text him. My bad. All no, I'm, I'm saying I'm, is, I'm still here. But in, no, no. But in real life, like that's crazy. So, okay. so we can fall in love with any celebrity woman with notoriety, Halle Berry, Rihanna. Because it's we easy can to we us. can find them to who they are just because. Do you know what I'm saying? We didn't say that. But that's what I'm asking. Not, so, so I get that you think you can do it with Beyonce, but I'm saying any woman of notoriety because that's what we're talking about. We're talking about celebrity yes. people, yes. not right. just Beyonce. Yes. Any person. Yes. So Carrie Hilson, nigga, I don't know. Just pick some. You oh, know right. Okay. Gonna get but no but that's what I'm saying. But it's because no, no, no. But I'm. I'm past the fact that they look good. Again. Past the fact that you can fuck them. Yeah. Mm. Heard you. But can you find yourself literally falling in love? Like, because that's the same problem. Any girl would say, oh, I can totally fall in love with LeBron. <laughs> Do you understand? She's a hoe yeah. now. You know, I can totally fall in love with Michael Jordan. Okay, so. Do you know so, what I'm saying? Like, to be honest, I okay, I be a hoe. So, to like, be yeah. honest, so we, all, to- cool, we all can learn to love someone, anyone. Yeah, you say that, Neva. We can all learn to love anyone. Okay. So. That's learn to love. So yes, you could learn. What, so what? that's exactly what he's telling Basically, to them. Basically, what we're saying, we could be a hoe for a good-looking woman. So that's what. So then we all agree with Levar Ball because that's what he's saying. This girl is gonna be a hoe for you because she'll learn to love you because you're rich. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what he said. That's, that, that is that yeah. is what he's <laughs> saying. That's what I said. We, it's look, gonna be I hard. agree with him. I never disagree. I, I, I never disagree with him. <laughs> it's either. gonna be extremely hard for his son to find love. Oh, yo, these hoes gonna be out here running him. That's why down. I wouldn't, you I wouldn't the, go for a girl that you are the third, at. He's the pick. third pick in the 2020 NBA draft. He already signed with Puma. Yes, a multi million dollar deal. But, already, and he already played overseas. He so already, he got a bag. He already got a bag. And he's 18. Yes, and the minimum. <laughs> he's and wait, now coming and to the United minimum, States. And the minimum. You know why he was fucking when you was 18? 
You wow. have the minimum. <laughs> Do you remember that? Do you remember the 18 energy? Bro. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't that bad. Bro. It wasn't that bad. No, but Listen, I'm talking about you got that energy. Understand what I'm saying <laughs> to you. <laughs> and the minimum NBA contract for a rookie. Down. The minimum NBA like contract. Okay. 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 No, for just a how rookie you pull, NBA rookie, you had the good minimum back. for his stature is probably, what, five million a year? I'll be getting his con. You know how he has a bunch of kids everywhere. They're going to sign him to a two-year deal. He's going to make five mil for the first two years, plus his Puma deal that he just signed with Hove. Yo, bro, what I will say. They're going to be like, you can take the con. Off. Cool. So what I will what I will say is, everybody comes at Lavar Ball and the Ball family. He's amazing, but he's a great father. He's amazing. He's, he said some real shit just in that. He did. Bro, amazing, he bro. sets his kids up for success. And honestly, in the community that we come from, I wish we had more fathers like Fact. that. Shout out to Lavar Ball. Set bro. your kids up for success. Yo, that was a no, bomb. I got, I got, I got. God damn. Yeah, five, four, three, one.